In the weeks since the Trump administration changed its zero-tolerance policy toward immigration, a policy that separates migrant children from their parents when coming over the, the border, we've seen horrifying and heartbreaking sights, sounds, and stories coming from the detention centers where the children are being held. We've seen photos of the cages children are being kept in, heard audio of screaming kids begging to speak to their parents, and read witness accounts of overcrowding and lack of supplies. There are even reports that parents are being deported back to their countries of origin while their children remain at camps in Texas, unable to communicate with them and with no clear next step for reuniting with them. Meanwhile, the Trump administration has unleashed a bevy of excuses, at once falsely telling reporters that separating families isn't their policy, that it is their policy because it works as a deterrent to other potential immigrants, that it is their policy because it will persuade Democrats to fund the border wall and that it's actually what God wants. It is completely understandable to feel helpless in this situation. The policy is almost unfathomably cruel and it can be hard to keep track of all the details. But there are some things you can do right now to help immigrant children and help shoulder the emotional and financial burdens their families face. If you feel like you can't go another moment without doing something to help with the kids being separated by their families at the border, try doing one of these. Call your congressperson. This takes only a few minutes, and every bit of pressure on elected representatives helps. There are currently several bills being pushed to fight the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, the most widely circulated being the Keep Families Together Act, introduced by California Senator Dianne Feinstein, D. It's currently supported by all Senate Democrats, but if you're represented by a Republican, make sure they know that as your constituent, you want them to represent you and stop the zero tolerance policy that separates children from their families. The ICLU has a script you can follow here, and they'll even route your calls to the correct representative. Donate money. So much of the burden that these immigrant children and their families will face is going to be financial, and every little bit you can donate helps. If you want to take a cue from Chrissy Teigen, whose fundraiser in honor of Trump's birthday garnered over $1 million, you can donate to the ICLU here. Other organizations making an impact on this crisis are the Refugee and Immigrant Center for Educational and Legal Services, RACES. You may have seen their viral Facebook fundraiser on your feed. This organization can help put up the bond money to get parents out of detention and reunited with their children and make sure every child in Texas's immigration system has legal representation. They've so far made over $2 million. You can donate to them here. The Young Center for Immigrant Children's Rights. This organization advocates for separated children and is trying to launch a new initiative specifically centered around children affected by the zero tolerance policy. You can donate to them here. The Asylum Seeker Advocacy Project. ASAP. A project of the Urban Justice Center. This organization helps prevent wrongful deportations and is currently looking for donations to provide legal aid, as well as volunteer attorneys and translators. Donate here. Donate to Act Blue, and your money will be sent to eight different organizations working to help children and families separated at the border. Donate here. If you're a lawyer, several organizations are looking for more people to represent children and families in immigration courts. ASAP is one such organization, and you can find out how to get involved here. The Texas Civil Rights Project also put out a call for those with legal experience as well as those who can translate and help with the intake process. 
Go to a protest. So much political change is affected by optics, and a big crowd protesting a policy is a clear sign it's unpopular. If you can't volunteer or donate, you can still show up to protest and be counted among those who find these policies cruel, immoral, and un American. The non profit Families Belong Together has been organizing vigils and protests around the country.